check this out. I've switched over to my Calabash Diggers Fast program today. Hit this here same sink. Just walked through here the other day. I didn't hear that with my own program. Which mine's it's just crazy, huh? What is that little burr? She's been hit with a plow. Yep. Round ball. I'm a round ball king right now, I'm telling you. I have plucked some from the soil. But yeah, we're gonna hit this heavy iron. We're gonna put that there program through the test today. Not super significant, but it's like a piece of a eating utensil. Right there's two inches down is the foundation. I mean, I had to dig a brick out. There's the foundation right there, I think, in that little trench. Zoom me in there, maybe you can see. That's it. Everything runs on an angle. So it kind of runs straight across there. Right in all this iron, I did pull that little piece out. When I say iron, this is what's washed out. Big, this farm equipment, junk, tongs for the oysters. I mean, this is just nasty. 1660s. It's when the actual home was, well, this land here was purchased from Lord Baltimore. And they moved 100 people here. So, today, I found something right here. Of course, the bullet was just over. It was that hole right there. A lot of stuff's been missed. And it's hard still picking it out with this, but you get a solid signal. Everything's running about 80. You don't, I mean, you hit no, had nothing come up any higher, but there's so much junk in there. I mean, it's crazy. Pinpointing, you pull out nine nails, chunk of that junk, a round piece of, piece of green glass. Wouldn't do me to be able to dig all this up and excavate it. Just see what's here. All right, let's find something else. Here's a little note. A little thing, brass washer or some nature been clipped which is neat this come out of the hole this come out of the hole this come out of here oh, there's a nail here somewhere a nice long nail with a bend to it this is in the hole don't pay attention to some of these channels that are saying calabash's stuff isn't right it's testing all right I, man i can show you right here i can show you my little box the man's on to something, so it's TN Sharpshooter. I mean, this is colonial. Look at this. This is all iron. I found stuff, little teeny bits. I got them in my pocket. Of brass. When I got a high tone, that's the kind of stuff that was in there. That's a bullet. That's a piece of nail or something. I don't know. More brass. A couple pieces of brass that are hidden. You don't know what's in that stuff. You got people running another channel down on YouTube because they don't know how to test something they've been running forever. Get real. That's all I guess I should have to say because I don't want to get involved in that dumb mess. With people chiming in. Oh, yeah, they don't know nothing about testing. I'll tell you right now. Ain't nobody else detecting this spot right here anymore. Can't. Another one of those holes. Got another target here. I got her down to this small. Let's just clean her up. Could be junk. That wind is howling over there. So maybe another one of them washer things or something. It's funny how many of these we find. I wonder if they went on boots or coats or something. I don't know. That one's really distorted looking. I'd say that was probably handmade right there. Just the crudeness of it. Huh. Oh, cleaner root. I'm kind of interested in that one. It's thicker than normal. Got a hole through it. This is what you wait for when you're iron hunting. I'm going to be here. That noise there is what you hear the whole time. But look at that. Got a pair of cufflinks together, or is that just one cufflink? I don't know. Here, yeah, I can't say enough of calabashes. 
testings and stuff like that. That's what I base everything off of. That's wisdom. Good Lord, look at that. There's fancy on it. Pivotal moment here. Alright, let me do my short. But yeah, it's a set. Complete piece. First one. Could be silver, I don't even know. I'm thinking they're just green at this point, so. Brass, but that is sifting through some metal. Let me just tell you, it's just metal. This is where the house sat right across the heat. Well, it kind of went out that way, but I'm inside the house frame. It was added on to several times on this end, so this end would probably have been mid 1700s, something like that. I'm gonna look at it again. Check out my short. Probably be my best find today, other than my bullets. I got quite a few bullets and some bunch of scrap stuff. It just wasn't worth showing, but man, trust the guys that are doing the testing. They ain't showing you nothing that you don't need to know. Air test shows tons. Who goes? Who buys a metal detector? Nothing air test at home. Anybody? I have every time. I want to see what the difference is. I don't care what it does in the dirt. I can't tell what it's doing in the dirt until I dig. If it says, I don't know, 13, 14 inches at home, and I dig something 12 inches, I say that's pretty daggone good. So that's going too short. Got them cleaned up a little bit. Get on my extra videos. Check that out. That's a little dog running or something, fox something like that. Whether or not it scrub on too much. Be easy on these. They're still in one piece. And hey, here's an update on my trigger guard. I actually got a friend who knows an inmate who can really weld. He's going to straighten that bad boy up and put her back together right. That's cool. And then he, who does that? That's awesome. All right, here's probably one of my last targets. Probably just a little piece of scrap or something in there, you see. But we're digging them. Cause you never know what's gonna be in there. And this was the same number as my cufflinks. This could be just a piece of junk. Shotgun shell, probably. Mm, probably. But I will say one thing, it was down there. No, it's not. Something else, it's a relic. See? Rivet on that side, rivet on that side. Hmm. I hate when that there happens though. I wish they had a permanent fix to that also. Which I don't. With this program you really don't need it on there because if you get a target that's hitting both ways, it's got it's something decent. Very seldom is it will be iron. Yeah, it could be. Look, that little rivet's loose. Cool stuff, man. Oh. Do you see that? Anyway, I'll find it.